are there any areas that you think have sufficiently repriced where you're starting to see opportunity? Well, look, I mean, financials have started to reprice in a meaningful way. You know, not all of these companies are going to have problems, uh, you know, right. that we're seeing in some of these. So, yeah, I think it's happening. I mean, the other thing I would just point out is that, you know, financials tend to lead uh, the overall market. But that's one area for sure. Um, some of the retail you know, some of the consumer areas have repriced. They've been repricing for years. You know, we just added a name to our fresh money by listed as a retailer. So, you know, I think these, these there are definitely areas. I mean, markets go through these periods with, I call it a rolling bear market, right. rolling recession. We've, we've kind of, I think, uh, came out with that view a few years ago, and now people have used it. But, you know, that's the way it works. And, and, and you know, right. we're looking for opportunities now at the stock level. But at the index level, it just does not look attractive to us. Mike Wilson, the thing that's different this time around is the pile of money in what's called private equity private markets, it, well, can they be a catalyst for a trip? Not like Milken years ago, but can they be a catalyst for a roll up of all these troubled companies? Well, look, I mean, first of all, I don't think there's that many, you know, troubled companies. I think we have a situation where valuations are out of bounds and we need to correct that. Um, I absolutely think there's tons of cash out there where there's private or public money, you know, pu public money, that meaning asset owners that can come in at the right price, and it will. So whatever we're going to get here in the next three to six months in terms of finally resetting the valuation appropriately, getting estimates down, I don't think we're going to stay at very, very low price levels for a very long time. I, we're not in the camp that we're in a secular structural bear market. This is a cyclical bear market. It has some some completion to it. And your, your question is really around, is there enough cash and uh, investable funds out there to right. kind of, you know, stabilize things. And I think the answer is absolutely yes.